Hey golfers, in this next video, I'll be showing you how to get a better shoulder turn in golf. Keep watching. Hey, it's Troy from hittingitsolid.com here. Thanks for watching. So we're talking about the shoulder turn in golf. So by the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can make an easy, simple way to make a full shoulder turn, even if you struggle with flexibility and you've never been able to make a complete shoulder turn in your life. This is something I've struggled with, but after you implement what I'm about to show you, you'll be able to make a fantastic full shoulder turn. Now very quickly, before we get started, if this is your first time here, make sure you like this video. And if you wanna play better golf, consider subscribing to the channel. So a shoulder turn in golf. Where most golfers get into struggles with this, and I've done this myself for many years, is we talk about it as a shoulder turn. And I think that's where a lot of the problems happen in the golf swing and our problem is as golfers our balls down here when we make our turn to me a turn is around like this this is turning the shoulders but the problem for us golfers is the ball is on the ground there it wouldn't be an issue if the ball was up high you'd be able to make a turn stay in posture and do all those good things but we've got a ball on the ground we've got to make a turn or a rotation and still hit that ball solid but if you're anything like me, you've suffered from swaying, which is moving too far this way, and then trying to rotate and turn. And this just gets you further away from the golf ball and makes it a lot more complex than it has to be. So from this angle down the line, I'll just show you. And this is what I've personally struggled with myself. So as I get over one here, so this would be swaying and then having to rotate. You can see there I get a lot further from the ball. Get in a really unbalanced sort of position there. So there is a much easier way of making a, a better shoulder turn and a lot more efficient. And this works for all golfers and enables you to stay centered. Works for your irons and your driver. So instead of the word turn in your shoulder turn, this is for the backswing and the downswing, get rid of this club. I like to think of it as um, pulling the shoulders back. So if I get over the top of one here, jump out of your chair and do this with me. If I pull my right arm back, I want to feel like my rear or trail shoulder. I pull it up and back. And you see, when I do that, I'll just get nice and balanced here. I can make a full shoulder turn, no problems at all. And I've only got average flexibility, nothing special there. So if I just pull the right arm back, up and back, I can make a 90 degree turn, no problem whatsoever. So from this angle, you can make that 90 degree turn. Now really important when you were doing this, for the back swing, this rear shoulder, trail shoulder, should be higher than the, the lead shoulder. And on the downswing, they'll just reverse positions. That, trail sh that um, lead shoulder will be higher than the trail shoulder. Now, once you pull a club into it, this is where it's a real game changer and will make a huge improvement in your game. And you can, in fact, make a full shoulder turn in golf by not even getting the club all the way to the top with your arms. A lot of the really good pros can do this. You might not be able to quite match them, but you'll definitely be able to improve your shoulder turn. So this is what I want you to do. So as you get up over one here, pull that right, that right arm back, getting to that 90 degrees. Grab a club, hold it in your, your left arm or your lead arm keep it straight and then attach it to the other hand and you can see there I've made a full shoulder turn with hardly hardly any effort at all purely because my right arm my right shoulder I'm pulling it up sorry I'm pulling it back and up and then it just it falls in behind me and if you're doing this right this is probably for the first time you've ever done this you should feel a real stretch right around that upper back area. So I'll do one from this angle, pull it back, 
Left arm goes back nice and straight. Join them together. I've just made that full shoulder turn. There's no sway. You don't have to worry about any sort of weight shift or pressure shift. That will happen automatically as you're pulling that shoulder back. You'll be able to make a much bigger turn and a bigger shoulder turn means more power, more consistency. It takes a lot of the arms movement away from the golf swing. So I'll show you one from here. So really important to make sure this is covered in other videos that you maintain that posture, that distance from the golf ball. I don't want you to be standing up taller like this. We need to keep these shoulders on that tilt. I'll show you from this angle. Because this is what I really struggle with and this was a real game changer once I got this really mastered and really built into my game. So let's go right arm, right shoulder back straight arm, join them together, lead shoulder is lower than the trail, and then on the downswing, they just change positions, and I've still got that tilt that I'm after, through to follow through. So practicing that drill, really simple, do that inside, at home, in your backyard, you can work on it at the driving range but that will help you get a more efficient turn or rotation. You can stop using the, the phrase shoulder turn, move the shoulder back. If you're feeling soreness in this the day after you've done this, this will be a good thing because it means you've been building a new movement pattern into your game and your consistency and improvement will really skyrocket when you get those shoulders turning correctly. Now what's also important, and this ties in with this video, the next video coming up talks about weight shift versus hip turn. Now this plays a key role in the golf swing, it ties in with this video, make sure you watch it. Do you wanna know how to make a better golf swing? Click and watch the video on your screen now. It's gonna go into more detail about golf weight shift versus hip turn, which ties in really well with this video to help you make a great golf swing. Do you wanna know how to play even better golf? consider subscribing to the channel. And remember, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know, I will get back to you. Thanks for watching, see you next time.